We're here at Secor Dam. You can see the basin behind me in the background and you can't really even see Secor Dam way back there. Let's get this camera turned around though so you can see the basin a little bit better. A lot different from the last time I was here. Last time I was here they were just pouring the mud mat down here. So a lot of the concrete has now been poured and you can start to see these steps being formed that will come up the rest of this way and also the steps being poured on that side as well. And there's been a lot more work down there at the bottom where the river is as well. So it's just a heck of a lot of concrete work going on here. You will notice a huge difference from the last time I was here. We'll also be checking out the micro pile on the other side of the river. And I can just see my live camera there at the top of the sheet pile. So if you want to keep in tune to what is happening here 24-7, make sure you keep checking out those live cameras. I was just down at Sanford Dam. Work is just starting there. And there's a lot of work happening at Smallwood Dam as well. That's where I will be heading as soon as I leave here. So yeah, like I said, just a whole lot of progress. Let's go ahead. Let's go take a look at what's happening here at the end of the emergency spillway and like I said then we'll check out the micro pile on the other side of the river. Then we'll be throwing the drone up in the air getting those aerial views that you guys like to see. Jumping into some of that drone video here now. Uh, drone is facing and flying towards the west. Nice shot of the basin here of the emergency spillway. Got a great aerial view of it. And uh, if you've actually been checking out the live camera, you'll notice a lot more of these steps have been poured since I was out there filming in person. So a lot of progress happening here as always. Also down there on Sanford Dam, I'll mention really quick, uh, a lot of sheet pile being drove down there. Uh, after that sheet pile is done being drove or driven in, uh, then they'll be able to dewater the area around the dam and start work down there on Sanford. So. That camera has a great view and vantage point to see that work happening there. Hopefully we will get the Smallwood live camera move soon to a better location. Uh, that will be my next video that I will be hosting an update on Smallwood Dam because, again, a ton of progress there. Emergency spillway is looking great. And here you can kind of see the very end of that emergency spillway. And down there at the top of the screen where that meets back up with the Titabawassee River. You'll notice the rock truck over here on the right hand side of the screen. They're still using these uh, to haul in some riprap. Just kind of bringing it down to the excavator and then the excavator can go ahead and maneuver it and place that riprap wherever it may need to go. Uh, seems like they've been liking to use these rock trucks that are on tracks and can spin around 360 degrees to get into some of these tight places and I'll actually have some footage on the ground footage of this rock truck with some raw video at the end of this video. So up there is uh, the actual powerhouse of the dam. You can see the water flowing over the top right there and now we are at the end of the emergency spillway here. You can see they still have these struts in place. The struts are the ones going between here. So those will be removed, but they were worried about loading and the, the um, sheet pile moving back and forth. So those are just in place for bracing. And where we were, uh, where I just finished up filming, was the basin way up there where you can see that concrete is on the other side of the hammer. It's attached to the crane. You can kind of see some of these pours that have been done already in here. There's a sill right here at the end of the emergency spillway that needs to be poured. There's some baffle blocks right there, 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 three baffle blocks that still need to be poured. And then going down this emergency spillway, you can see the steps that are also going to be in here as well. So pretty cool standing here at the end of the emergency spillway. Not sure if this will ever get used in the future, hopefully not, but it is in place. If we ever need to dissipate some of the water that is coming over the top of the dam up there, and it's kind of see a little bit of the powerhouse there and that low level outlet that is being worked on as well. Again, a lot of work going on here as always. This shot from the drone is flying the opposite direction. So flying and facing back towards the east at probably about 50 feet in altitude. You can see some of that bracing that is in place in the emergency spillway and will come up a little bit in altitude up to the top of the emergency spillway. And again, you can see a little bit more of those concrete pours, some of this riprap that is being placed in this area by the excavator. 
the lake bed over on the left hand side doesn't seem to be growing trees that are very tall down there on Wixom Lake and Sanford Lake uh, we're definitely a lot taller this area here is called the wedge you can see the layers that they have there the sand some smaller stone and then riprap on top of it that would call all the way up here covering up this grass you can see they're using this off-road dump truck on tracks to get that stone down real close to that excavator so that they can spread it. So on the right embankment over here, you can see the micro piles that have been poured over there and the steel cables still need to be connected over here. And then uh, fill put back in place. And this side will be complete. You can see up here to the north over the top of uh, Secord Lake. A little bit icy this morning actually temperatures are about 50 though so it's starting to melt a little bit we got a little bit of a temperature rise and then it's gonna cool back down here in Michigan over here in front of the dam you can see Tainer gates completely raised position water flowing down the Titabwasi River it's where I was just standing at the base of the emergency spillway and then coffer dams in place here and a lot of those concrete pours that are complete see a little bit of what is left of the powerhouse being converted into that low level outlet and down here you might be able to see a little bit more of that work on the low level outlet that's happening so way down in there you can see a lot of work happening inside of what used to be the powerhouse Maybe next time we're here, we'll be able to see a little bit more of that work. I'm gonna go ahead and fly the drone though, give you guys a little bit of an aerial view of what's going on here. The drone in this shot is facing towards the west again, probably about 50 feet in altitude. Rock truck just dumped some riprap there for the excavator to go ahead and place. And here at the end of the emergency spillway, we can see the bracing inside of there. I think if you actually go look at the live camera right now, that bracing has been removed. When I'm out here flying on site, I always got to, you know, keep an eye on where the cranes are, where they're moving to. Um, there's usually multiple cranes out here on site. So definitely uh, safety is the number one priority when I am out here on site filming, both myself and, you know, watching out for the other guys that are out here on the site as well. Here's at the base of the old powerhouse soon to be converted into the low level outlet and this low level outlet will be used to pass flows during the winter time uh, in the winter time there is icing that happens on these concrete bracings that you can see here at secord dam and they actually have to come all out every once in a while and de-ice those um, being able to use that powerhouse for, as a low level outlet to pass those flows in the winter will help with that and here's a great shot of those micro piles I did check out the live camera and I don't think the cables have been attached to those yet, but once those are attached, uh, they'll be able to uh, put in place some fill again in that area. Again, another shot heading towards the east. Last view of the basin here in the emergency spillway and the steps that are being poured. Stay tuned for some of that raw video of the riprap being hauled in by the off-road dump truck right now. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.